argon tank is off, all right? You do not adjust this. This does not move. This is already pressure set for what needs to go in volume-wise. What, what is it set at? Huh? What is it set at? I don't know. We'll see when he turns it on. Check it. Anyway, I'm not going to turn it on. There's no point. So this is fully closed. When you want it to run, you just turn, open it all the way. But this stays at where it's at. It, this can vary. This doesn't matter. It's only set to where it's set because it's been calibrated in right. here. If we change this, it changes we can still the calibration. Use it, we just had to re we just have to recalibrate it. So it's no big deal. Just don't change that. Open that. Do the same deal. Um, while the system's on, gas is going to be flowing throughout the whole thing. Okay, all these pipes are connected. So the flow out of here splits right here and heads towards the GC coming this way. You have two valves to shut before it gets to the GC. These are already shut here and here, okay? You can tell you know valves and you're not stupid. So uh, when you want to run this and it's on, you just open and open. All right, so what's gonna happen is this guy just sealed water in it. There's still water in there. Maybe you need to get a little more. But when it's uh, it's sealed and uh, the pipe's set to go through, you can see the bubbles filling up so you'll know gas is flowing through from the prism. Okay. Uh, for the GC, it's on. You'll have argon coming out of here this little guy. You can't really tell if you put your hand there, it's too light of a flow. Mm. You just gotta get a little glass of water and put it through there and let it bubble and you'll see the bubbles. Um, okay, so this is the, this is not the master on switch. Master on switch. So it's off right now, okay? So the first thing you have to do before you turn this on is you make sure the argon valve is open and flowing. And it will flow through here without this being on, okay? So once you've checked to make sure it's flowing through, you turn on, all right? And then you put the amplifier on low. Just clicks there. It's usually stationed on off when it's not being used. But we don't use high. I don't really know the reason why. I think it's just set for what needs to run, and that's it. So click that on low, <clears throat> and now it's on, set, flowing, and ready to go. You don't have to wait. It doesn't have a warm up. No, it doesn't have a real warm up at all. Um, this warms up though. Hmm? This warms up though. What? The GC. It doesn't need to. It's it, you can run you can run through sample through it and test it as soon as it's turned on. I would give it a minute, but I mean it doesn't really matter. Now the only the only disparaging difference is your first test, okay, is probably going to give you uh, a little fluctuy wonky data that you don't want. So you just kind of run it once. It's that 30 minute kind of cycle time. So as the GC is going, it starts here. Does its thing, and it'll run. It'll cut off after about 25 minutes. Okay, and then it's ready to go again. Then you're gonna get a temperature readout while it's running. And this temperature is gonna show you uh, basically what it's doing to elute the gas. So it's gonna get really high by the end of it, and you don't want to run it while it's not at ambient conditions. So it'll get to, I think it'll display a, a little bit around like 70 or 80. I think it might go higher than that. I'm not too sure, I can't remember. But it'll go back down after the cycle to 
near ambient, like 30C, and you're good to go, and you can run it again. Um, all you do to run it, <clears throat> um, when you are going to test the sample, you have those valves open, you just leave them open for a few minutes, maybe like five minutes is good enough, okay? Uh, shut the valves, and then you just hit the start run button. You'll hear a little ding, it's starting to start running, and you just let it sit for 30 minutes. And that's, that's it. It'll do everything else on its own. Um, every file is saved here. So you just go to file, you can open any of the runs. They're stored in order as latest run at the, at the top. But you know how to filter through this stuff. You're a smart guy. Um, and you can open any run. So the most recent one we did last was 1250. This is 1249. And that's pretty much what you'd see. The first run, you're probably going to see uh, higher nitrogen, higher air, because it's kind of filtering it out through the system as you run it. It has to stabilize itself. Yeah. So it's it's not a it's not a snapshot like it's not a snap point in time it is flowing constantly right. as it's running and, and scanning or uh, reading the gases but some of these lines do just get filled up with air and it'll show yeah. so once that's done it's ready to go new one this is what you'll get pretty much every time you run while this is on okay uh, and then the cycle repeats itself if you want to run again. That's it. So once it's done, it's ready to go. It it, so this just has to go down to 30 before you can do another one. Yeah. You'll see here, you can start it before, but I don't think it's good for the it's system. Probably, it may not even start until like... It'll, know, it'll, like it'll start. Oh, it will. Okay. It will. It's not like going to tell you no, it won't start. Okay. Uh, this is... Um, no. Well, it's not that old, but it's, it's extremely accurate. Uh, and pretty precise as well. That about does it.